Enter! Yeah, you want to see me, Master? Alright, George. George, come in. Come in and take a seat. Hey, George. What's going on? Uh, certain things have been brought to my attention during this morning. Yep. And I'm aware that you're mainly involved with them, sort of in the centre. Things have been happening out there, George. Things have been happening. Out where? Out there. In the tarmac jungle you call a playground. Now, a lot of problems have arisen from this situation that's occurred. Mm -hmm. I suppose you have no idea what I'm on about, do you? No idea. No, didn't think so. Didn't really think so. No. How about, how about this? You know about this? Yeah, that's mine. Yes, 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 I thought so. My mother of one of our year eights rang me this morning, informing me that you had sold this bag of cannabis to her son for 40 pounds. Now, George, I know we've had problems like this with you before, but I thought we'd gotten over all of that. You selling this bag to her son for 40 pounds, not only brings shame on you, it brings shame on your family and the school. And I mean, you know where we stand on things like that. I'm sorry. It's inexcusable, George. 25 pounds, I could have understood. 40 pounds, it's just daylight robbery. I mean, have you even been paying attention in Mr. Sanchez's economics? Bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. I mean, I could start selling my own personal blend for 35 pounds, and you'd be out of business as quick as a fat hooker. Well, obviously, it depends on your taste. It is good shit. It, it may well be. I'm not doubting the goodness of it, but the quantity, really, it's just, it's just ridiculous. You're a first-time seller. You need to build up a customer base before you can start hiking up your prices like that. Ripping other students off isn't what we stand for at Pablo Escobar Comprehensive. I've had to, unfortunately, take you off the trip to Colombia. What? As, no, I'm sorry, George, but you need to be oh, punished. Are you kidding me? You need to be punished, George, and you need to, oh. you know, realise that we will not stand for this sort of behaviour. And if it means denying you this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, then I'm afraid that's what I'm going to have to do. Oh. I mean, Mr Sanchez is just going to have to find another student to help him with his import-export research project. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, George, but... You go, just get out of my office, get out of my office. I'll see you later. That is good shit. Right, hello Michelle, glad you made it here today. My name's James, I'm going to be your uh, examiner for the day. Now, I understand you're a little bit nervous, is that correct? Uh, so, yeah, a little bit. Right, well that's perfectly normal, I just want you to feel comfortable. Uh, it might help you to relax to know that uh, during the 99 and 2000 season I was the uh, navigator for the Suzuki World Rally Team. So, I'm no stranger to this. Well, if you want to get yourself comfortable, set up in the vehicle. I'm just going to uh, do a bit of paperwork, get myself in order. So if you want to yep, set yourself okay, up. Cool. Right, Michelle, I've had a look at the course. There's a couple of tricky hairpins, but I don't think anything you wouldn't have seen before. I'm going to aim for a 5 minute 50 seconds on this course, yeah? 5 minute 50. We're going to start off with a 1 right, followed by a 3 left. It tightens, but don't cut, don't cut it over. Right, there's a 1 over crest, then a 2 left. There's a hazard until what? the bend where it finishes. Right, you ready? Let's go. Let's go, go, go! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Your lecturer for the afternoon, Chris Gow. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to International Relations with me, Chris Gow. Obviously, a lot of you being in Stafford having to look internationally to find women. Actually, I can see a couple of girls in the audience this year. You lot are going to get snapped up like that. Or some of you, anyway. International Relations, what is it? Not a lot of people know. International Relations is a, is a little bit of a mixture of classes. You learn a bit about the government, a bit about economics, a bit of politics, a bit of law. <laughs> A bit of history and a bit about geography, but you guys are going to love this class. There's a guy in this, the guy in the audience called Tim. Don't know whereabouts he is now, but he's been studying for his third year for three years. Can't get enough of me, can you, Tim? Well, anyway, I like to start my lectures with a couple of jokes, get the audience warmed up. <laughs> Two plates on the table, one says to the other, dinner's on me. Now, this next one requires a bit of audience participation. Knock, knock. Boo. Don't cry, it's just a joke, yeah, it's fine, we'll get on, we'll move over it, we'll carry on. My girlfriend asked night, I don't even know why I'm telling you this. It's quite sad, really. <laughs> she had a go at me. She said, I'm immature, I need to grow up. I got her banned from the treehouse for life. <coughs> well, one final one before we move on. A black man and a Jew and a Nazi are all in a DVD shop looking at porn. 
So, medically, do you have anything that runs in the family? Um, baldness. But I think I'll be okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, how did you say you knew Jane again? Oh, um, we talk on the phone a lot. Uh, the Samaritans hotline. <laughs> all right, okay. Are you all right, Mike? Nah. So, uh, you finished that pretty quickly. Um, it was alright. I was just really hungry. Can you have the bill, please? Yeah, of course, madam. Oh. No room for dessert, then? No, um, I'm stuffed. And, uh, I have to go home and feed my dog. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm just gonna go to the little boy's room and then I walk you home. <laughs> you ready to go? Oh, someone's keen. <laughs> Should we just go then? Okay. Come in. Please sit down, Billy. I'm sure you're excited to find out about your future prospects. I certainly am. So it seems you've passed all your modules on track to see if top parts. That's impressive. Well, I try my best. Oh, and um, also appears you're involved in several society clubs and in general considered a model student by your lecturers. Well, I wouldn't say that. So you'd say you're a complete nerd. <laughs> Sorry. Well, look at this. I'm Billy. I'm so great. I work so hard. But... You computer programmers are all the same. I can make a machine go boop, 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 and I'm a genius. <laughs> when you walk into an interview, do you think that people will look at you and think you're smart? Or do you think they'll just see an ugly person standing in front of them? <laughs> How do you think my looks coming to this? You see your CV here? Yeah. But I've worked hard for Mr. Brilliant. Now you're saying I can't get a job because oh, I'm sorry. ugly? Oh, sorry. All I can hear is rubbish spewing out of your mouth. I don't understand. <laughs> Who's next? Astrophysics? Right then. Have you wondered? Just gotta go to the stars. Hello? What? My God, when? It's terrible. I can't believe it. Are you all right? Did you have a bad poo? <laughs> no. It's my dad. Your dad had a bad poo. <laughs> no, he died. <laughs> <laughs> from having a bad poo. <laughs> she had a bad poo. <laughs> <laughs>